We're in front of 822 Northeast Van Leeuwen Lane, and this is a brand new model called the Wahoo. Uh, the models are named after fish. We've had the dolphin and the sea bass, and this is the Wahoo. And uh, this is a modifiable home. This is currently as a three bedroom, but with a very simple modification and a few extra dollars, we can turn it into a four bedroom. Uh, so I'll uh, throw some stats in the screen so you can see the current square footage. There you go. And uh, what we can do is we can bring that up to uh, right around 1850 or so. Uh, let me double check here. I'll put that on. Okay, there on the screen right now. That's the square footage we could bring it up to by adding a fourth bedroom. And we could enclose a den as well. So uh, a really nice looking house. And as we go inside here, you're going to see it's a, it's a really a neat layout here. So... Uh, this particular home that we're showing here in this video is sold, but uh, we're looking at building a few more, and this video is to show you what you get for uh, the money for the Wahoo. So you can see the garage is very pretty. We've got some decorative corbels on each side of the garage and very pretty modern side lights. There's a little walkway down the side of the home here, uh, and that's because there is a side door right there that goes into the garage, and your AC is on the side here. Uh, there is a sprinkler system, far zone sprinkler system and rain sensor you can see in the video right there. And a window in the garage. This is the first time we've put a window in the garage. It brings you some natural light. Coming up to the front door. Walkway might be different from home to home, but uh, we do have a beautiful landscaped area here in the middle with a triple Christmas palm and Christmas palm off to the right. So really some nice extra landscaping. And this whole area, these two little windows, this is all master bath. Got 12 foot entryway here, very attractive, with decorative corbels on each side of that, and very pleasant colors. Coming up to the front door, we do have glass on each side of the front door, and that is an eight foot front door. As you can see up here, we've got uh, uh, recessed lighting up overhead. So let's uh, open the lockbox and go inside. It is currently staged. Okay, so first of all, I want to point out a nice metal doorbell instead of the cheap plastic ones you find. Very nice lock set here and handle set coming in instead of just cheap doorknobs. And coming inside, I'll just uh, shut the door behind me and give you a nice little view of the camera of the living room here. Kitchen, dinette coming into view. And a formal dining room over here. So I want to start by pointing out that all the doors throughout the house are going to have nice upgraded lever handles. You have decor switches throughout the entire home. We're going to have nine foot ceilings. Actually, it's nine and a half. It measures out exactly about nine foot four inch. And look at the crown molding that goes around the entire ceilings. We have recessed halogen lighting, which is very bright. Coming all the way around here. This is all crown molding and then a large recessed ceiling with crown molding, tray ceiling rather, right in the center of the living room. So that crown molding just follows everything all the way around this area, so very pretty. So I'm gonna back up here and start with the living room. And you can see with the furniture how that is gonna lay out. And uh, where that picture is, it'll probably be where your big screen TV would go. Big eight foot slider right there as well, lets in a lot of extra light. Uh, whole house is tile. We have several selections of tile, but there is no carpet. The entire house is tile. Also, five and a quarter inch baseboards instead of the traditional three and a half inch baseboard that comes with most homes. So, very, very attractive. I'm going to step back here so you can see how this looks from here. And now, this dining room right here, this is set up with a formal dining room, but the dinette area is very large over there. So if we wanted to, we could actually enclose this dining room into a den. And it would be a very nice sized den in case you wanted a den instead of a dining room. But it certainly is a nice layout. So um, we may do that on one of the models. I'm going to stand back over here and give a nice view of the entire layout here with the dining room in view. Now the kitchen, we've got a very, very large island and an awful lot of work, workspace here. If you, there's a ton of room here to walk around the island. 
So you've got room for probably up to three, maybe even four bar stools here with a full uh, one inch overhang or one foot overhang. And uh, what they've done here is put some nice wood trim on everything to really sharpen it up. Beautiful level one granite sink is in the island. And then lots of cabinets in the back, taller cabinets. And I want to pause on the cabinets and show you that the design here. Well, first I'll show you the back of the island, how this is laid out. How our sink is laid out with a very nice arched handle here. And underneath does include an insincorator. No extra charge for that. And these are slow closed doors. See that? And all the drawers are ducktail design, milled very nicely, and solid wood with slow close as well. So really, really pretty. Nice stainless steel appliance package. So looking at how the cabinets are laid out here. And I suppose you could, if you wanted to, you probably could add one cabinet on the end, depending on how much you want to encroach in on the uh, dining room area. But if somebody wanted to, you probably could add one more cabinet on the end. But they do it this way to give you lots of room here for the dinette. And as you can see, this is a very large dinette area as I back up here, which is why I say maybe if you don't need the formal dining room, it might be better as a den, because this is quite large in here. And beautiful views of the oversized lanai back there as well. Halogen recessed lighting and drop down lighting over the snack bar. Very pretty. And the cabinets are the larger 42 inch cabinets with the slow closed doors. And I love the big handles too. And it is an upgraded Amana set. So. Really, really a sharp layout here. And now I'm going to mention one of the things we had discussed was maybe moving the uh, this whole setup just a couple inches that way because this is such a big area in case you wanted to gain a couple of inches over on this side. Don't know if that's really necessary because the living room is actually lays out pretty good this way, as you can see in the video. Now, coming down the hallway here, we have a pantry right here in the hallway. And that's something everybody wants is lots of pantry storage. We have our guest bath right here and everything is staged. So I just want to come in here and I want to show you this beautiful tile work here that's first. That's, you can see how nicely this is just really done. And every house is going to have similar tile work. Tile right to the ceiling, halogen lighting up overhead, and steel bathtub down below. Toilet and matching cabinetry right here with undermount sink, granite top, mirrors and light bar up overhead. And over here for all your towels and linens. So backing out, one more look at the bathroom. Okay. Oh, and note the lever handles on all the doors. Also, silver knobs instead of wood knobs on all the closet doors. Back bedroom number one. It's a nice size bedroom. With standard lighting overhead. Walking in here. Abundant 110 outlets on all the walls. Standard closet space over there. So as I walk around the room, I also want to point out marble on all the window sills. So, really a nice, nice home. Cable TV and telephone hookups in all the rooms as well. This bedroom over here is just a mirror of that one. Again, lots of natural light coming in here with the windows. And coming over here, about the same size with closets. Metal knobs is in all the closets. And standard lighting overhead. Now we're gonna head over here. And while we're here, we have a very large laundry room straight ahead. Uh, I like the way they framed it around the door there. Lots of shoving in here. And washer and air hookup with room to put a work sink in here. So I think a real good idea would be to uh, get a matching cabinet and uh, granite and put a granite top work sink in there. I think it would really dress up this laundry room nicely. Certainly can do that. Come out in the garage. 
garage floor has the epoxy finish on the floor. You can see that it is just beautiful. Uh, eight foot garage door, hurricane strength. Uh, we've got the uh, garage door opener. Overhead lighting is a twin lighting sets. And that is a pull down attic stairs and says it's an attic panel. And a large water heater over on the side there. Uh, so that's all standard, but also something that people complain about is there's never enough outlets in the garage. Well, there's two outlets on that wall there, and there's two outlets on this wall here, and two outlets on the back wall here for a total of six outlets in the garage. So that takes care of that complaint. And since it is such a high garage, lots of room to add some extra shelves for storage along the back, back wall or side walls. Now, this is a split bedroom design, so let's take a walk back over here and check out the master bedroom. As we come down to the master, uh, it is beautifully laid out and a very large recessed tray ceiling here with ceiling fan. We've got an eight foot door out here looking out at the lanai. We'll head out there in a minute, but this is a nice size room. I'm gonna walk over to this corner here and swing the camera back the other way so you can see how much room you've got here. So it's really a nice, quite nice sized bedroom. Now coming over here, we've got his and hers closets. And instead of bifold doors, we've actually got regular doors on here with the nice handles. So coming inside, this is one walk-in closet here. Halogen lighting and all the closets are heated and air conditioned. And this closet over here, same thing, just a mirror of the other one. And uh, there's actually an outlet in each closet too. And everything's tiled and finished throughout. Now coming straight ahead, ignore the guy in the mirror there. Let me see if I can get the, where the lights are. There we go. So. What we have here is a beautiful bathroom where you've got your tub over here uh, trimmed in beautiful tile and granite. And uh, we've got our linen closet right here with lots of ventilated shelving, very deep. And then we've got this dual sink set up over here, which is very pretty. And our mirrors and light bar up overhead. The way they've done this one is in a couple of tiers of granite. so. Could change it a little bit or keep it exactly that configuration. Looking over here is our toilet, but we've got a nice big walk-in shower right here with the beautiful tile work, similar to the other bathroom. The nice built-in soap box right there. Love that decorative band all the way around and tile going all the way to the roof. And I'm gonna step in the shower here. There's enough room in the shower for at least a couple of people. So it's, it is a very nice size shower. So, now that about does it for the house as you see it. Now, a couple things that we're talking about that we can do. As I mentioned, we could take that area right there and close it into a den, put a nice little glass door here on the left, entering into what would be a pretty large den. And you've still got a very large area over here to entertain. And then coming out to the lanai, I want to show you the size of this lanai is, um, I got to get this unlocked first. Actually, we're going out this side. And, uh, okay, so here's our lanai. Really wide, lots of halogen lighting out here. Fully screened. You can see that you've got a lot of room to sit out here and entertain. So I love it exactly the way it is. Now, coming out in the backyard, obviously this home is designed to have lots of room for a pool. And that's our dinette, but see, how uh, the house, that wall right there is there. Well, the idea is because the way the roof is configured, we can bring that wall straight out, even with this wall here, and make it a bedroom. And in between these two windows on the flat wall there, going into the dinette, we'd put a door and that would be the entry to the fourth bedroom. So without much trouble at all, we would basically square this off. The way you're looking at it right now, we'd square that off and that'd become a fourth bedroom. And that would give you that extra square footage that we discussed and showed on the screen in the, at the beginning. So if we did that and added a den, we'd have a four bedroom plus a den. Very competitive home, uh, very nice upgrades. Uh, I think it would be uh, 
much nicer than what a lot of the other builders are putting out on for product out there for the price range. And uh, price-wise, I'm going to throw a couple ideas on the screen. It really depends on if you're on well and septic or if you're on city water and sewer because of the cost of the lots. But um, here's a cost range that we can build this in roughly on the screen right now. So if you'd be interested in this particular home, contact me at the information you see coming up on the screen because uh, there really is a lot of house here. And it's one of the nicest ones I've seen for that kind of money, especially when you take into account the quality that you get, as I pointed out along the ways here. Very hard to find this kind of quality for that kind of money. That does it for me. My name is Dave Detman of Real Edge Real Estate Brokerage. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I look forward to seeing you in years in future videos. You take care and have a blessed day. God bless. Bye-bye.